I think if if it's within a year or two of the accident, most schools and families might think oh, it's related to the accident. So it's not as much of a problem. Where it's more of a problem is when you're injured when you're say around three, two, three, four, um, you recover from it. This is true even with a severe brain injury. The kids recover from their injury, they look and they act very much like a typical three, four year old because we don't expect three and four year olds to have much in the way of an attention span and we don't expect them to be able to read and we don't expect them to be able to do these things because they're only three. So they come back and they look like a three year old which is great. But then what happens is when they get into the higher school grades and they're supposed to have developed attention and they're supposed to have learned how to do certain things and they're supposed to have continued their normal development and they don't and they start to run into problems, then they can look and get labeled as having a learning disability because people have forgotten about that brain injury that occurred back when they were three. But the teaching mechanism, although some, some of the strategies are the same for a learning disabled person versus a brain injured person, they are different in that a learning disabled child can learn how to do one thing in a strategy and then generalize it to other uh, areas. Uh, most children who've had a brain injury learn how to do X in a situation Y and then they go to situation Z and they're supposed to do X and it's like an entirely new problem and they can't generalize. And so you have to be prepared to teach things over and over and over again to someone with a brain injury whereas you're not necessarily having to do that with a learning disability.